Hello everyone, welcome to our programming library. Uh, in this uh, tutorial, I am going to talk about the if-else function in R. The if-else function is a shorthand function to if and else statement and thus combines a loop and a conditional statement. The function has the following form. Uh, so the first argument of the function uh, is the logical condition and when this logical condition is true, uh, it executes the second argument of the function and uh, uh, when the condition, logical condition is false, then it executes the third argument of the function. Uh, let's see some examples. Uh, we have a vector x here. We can create an if-else function uh, uh, here uh, so that if the remainder when x is divided by 2 is 0, then print even, uh, otherwise print odd. So let's create if-else function. And so the result is here. So for every number um, uh, present in vector x, um, uh, when these numbers are divided by 2 and the remainder is 0, then they are printed as even, uh, otherwise they are printed as odd. Let's create uh, another uh, if-else function. Uh, for that, uh, we, have a vec uh, we have a vector, another vector score here, which is actually the um, random discrete score uh, in between 60 to 80 of 12 different students uh, in a school. So let's see that score first of all. Okay, then then we can create another if-else function here so that when a score is greater than or equal to 70, then print pass, and um, if the score is less than 70, then print fail. So let's see that. Okay, uh, we can also create a function using ifs function. Uh, let's create a, fu a function uh, abs underscore x of variable x uh, such that when x is less than zero, uh, then multiply x by a negative number, um, negative sign, um, and when uh, the condition is false, then simply print x. So let's create that function first of all. Okay. And then we can check that function uh, to see uh, it's working uh, if it is working fine. So let's use that function uh, for the numbers in between minus four to ten. Okay. So what happened in this case is all uh, when when the number uh, is negative, uh, that is number minus for for numbers minus four, minus three, minus two, and minus one. Now, these numbers are multiplied by uh, negative signs, so they become positive here. And for all other positive positive numbers, um, then they simply uh, follow the second, uh, the third argument of the if-else function, and then uh, they just print it out as it is um, from the function. So okay, um, so that's all about the if-else function. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and. Um, I'll, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.